Okay, thanks, Sheena. It is uh, almost 5 o'clock on this Thursday morning. Temperatures continue to get a little warmer in the early morning hours over the last couple of days, Michelle. Yeah, not uh, feeling those 20s that no. we had a couple of days <laughs> yeah. ago. We're actually in the upper 40s already along the coastline, and the temperatures inland are starting to climb too. So we've climbed up from lows near freezing earlier in the night in Providence. You're now sitting at 38 degrees, but the warmest spots are places like Newport and Block Island, which are already in the upper 40s. You can see New Bedford holding on to that chilly air here a little bit longer. 36 degrees. Winds are turning to the south though, and as they pick up, they're going to push in some warmer air for the day ahead, and we're going to see well above average high. So it is mild. We are tracking a few showers out there, but there's really two opportunities. One this morning during the commute and one this evening around and after the evening commute. And so we'll have some gusty and cooler weather that will follow for Friday, and it is a pretty active pattern in the week ahead. More precipitation chances as we head into next week, at least two systems that we'll be tracking. Right now, this warm front lifting through is bringing a few light showers to northwest Rhode Island. And rain showers for us as you head further north and west into parts of western and central Massachusetts. A few rain, uh, more of a wintry mix there in Providence. A few raindrops on your car windshield as you head out and begin your morning commute. Let's take a look at the wider view because we're I'll show you this area of low pressure to the north of us, bringing this warm front through this morning. Cold front follows for the early part of the night tonight. And in between, we've got ourselves a mild day. So here is 9 o'clock this morning, and you can see most of those showers winding down by the end of the morning commute. Again, they don't amount to much. The majority of the daylight hours are dry. Isolated showers possible late afternoon and evening. And there's those scattered showers with the cold front pushing through. This evening, skies will be clearing overnight tonight, and the temperatures will drop once that cold front comes through. We'll actually hold on to temperatures in the 50s through most of the evening. So for today's high temperatures, they are well above normal. Upper 50s, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, may even see a few breaks of blue sky. 5 o'clock this evening, rain chances starting to go up again, with the temperatures still in the 50s. Look at these highs this afternoon. Now the trade-off is we've got some gusty winds, but upper 50s in Charlestown, Westerly, and Narragansett, Newport near 59. Providence, West Warwick, Johnston, you're all close to 60 today. Woonsocket, not far from it either, 57. Foster around 55. And we're in the upper 50s in Taunton and Attleboro, Seekonk and Fall River. Here's a look at the forecast winds. And you can see gusts to around 25, 30 miles per hour on that gusty southwest wind. This evening, again, it's mild in the evening hours. Temperature is still holding in the 50s. But then by later in the night, as the skies clear out, the temperatures will start to cool and will drop down to around 38 degrees. Another gust day tomorrow. Winds to nearly 30 miles per hour for gusts, but it's a much cooler day. Gone are those 50s. We'll see highs only in the lower to middle 40s. So cool and brisk to end the work week, but dry skies and more sunshine expected through the day. Lower 40s into the early afternoon and then back into the 30s late day. Mid 40s for Saturday. Less wind, but more cloud cover. Still tracking the risk of some rain for early next week, Sunday night into Monday. That system Tuesday night into Wednesday. Maybe cold enough in initially to start off with the wintry mix, but a change to rain expected. W